Oh, oh, that's another headshot, baby. Let's go. Oh, headshot, baby. That's the most satisfying sound of it. You know, and it was just like, I was just shooting in the general direction, too. I mean, I had no fucking clue, really, where anybody was specifically. What's going on, you guys? It is your older than average gamer here. We are seemingly just uh, weeks away from update 12 coming out for Held at Loose, and this will be the first time that Held at Loose gets this update in full parity with PC and consoles. Update 12 is going to feature new map Remigan. It's also going to be featuring night maps uh, on the same maps that are existing in the game already. Not all of them will be uh, available at night, but uh, a, a good chunk of them will be. Also, console, this will be your first time getting Eastern Front. And like I said, we're just weeks away, uh, almost certainly weeks away, and I can't give you a for sure date, but um, as more information has come out, uh, we're definitely in the twilight hours of waiting for this to be uh, to be available. So uh, we're going to do a little chat about that, go into some of the new features that's going to be available, some new flare guns. Ooh. Uh, also, guys, I want to thank you again for supporting this channel. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you're feeling so inclined, maybe share this channel or the, or this video or any video with uh, someone you might think might enjoy this content i appreciate the hell out of it thank you so much for the continued support now let's get right into it so according to the dev brief over at the hell let loose discord page pte uh for update 12 will be starting uh, within the next week maybe two at most um assuming everything is going well which it, so far it seems like it is and more specifically, it'll be a heavy test for Remigan, essentially, too, is this new map that they're adding into the game. Um, needs to get some players on it, and they need to see how it reacts to server loads, things like that. Um, they talk a lot about how they're going to make sure this map is balanced, being that the majority of the fighting on Remigan is going to end up being at a central bridge location, which is the first time in any of the maps in this game that the largest battles are... Uh, are going to be fought in the middle of the map at a bridge, which is going to present some interesting challenges. And I know that a lot of people have thought about, well, how the hell is that going to work exactly? And it's not just going to be some kind of a cluster fook in the middle of this bridge. Well, they do talk a lot about how they're going to help balance that um, based on the side that you're playing. Uh, certain sides will have a little more advantage from one area or another. German forces um, are going to have better hillside cover, uh, but have a harder time with uh, get moving armor into that area, whereas uh, the Americans on the other side are going to have uh, an easier time moving armor in, but uh, will have a little bit less infantry cover. Um, so it sounds like they, they definitely are, are doing a nice job making sure that uh, they're not just throwing this map at people without any idea of what is going to happen uh, once th they unleash it. Also in that full dev brief is some breakdown about, you know, one of the things they're trying to get figured out, you know, before this PTE comes up is whether or not they're going to allow for um, OPs and garrisons to be placed on the bridge or if you'll have to be required to put them uh, somewhere off that bridge. Uh, that's something that they're they're they find very important to find out. And I think that's a great thing that they're very much aware of that, um, how big of a a bonus or a positive or a negative that could be depending on which which of those things they allow or do not allow so we're going to see how what they do with that but uh, this map looks beautiful um here's a picture of the actual bridge and um, just a wonderful picture here but uh, this is going to be a lot of fun to play this i'm going to try to jump into this pt once it becomes available um if you guys are interested in doing that on pc uh, you can go to their discord page and find out more information about uh how to sign up and when uh when the when the playtest will become available so some really nice pictures of foy came out um in this dev brief uh, surrounding the the night map part of update 12 and it does look pretty damn good um something else that they uh wanted to make sure i think that we were aware of as players and something that i'm sure a lot of people were wondering how I many like do you don't just make these maps all just pitch black is that while it would be interesting for a little while it's not necessarily going to make the game more fun or or even playable to some extent so there's a lot of variance with uh, the time of the day or evening or morning that each of these night maps will take place on some will be early morning hours some will be in the middle of it will be in the middle of the night um, some will be near dusk uh, it sounds like the ones in the, that are more at the uh, 
at the dead of night, so to speak, are going to be backlit with obviously a lot of moonlighting and fog, which is going to pick up and reflect a lot of that moonlight. And that's done on purpose as as they lay out in some of these uh, some of these explanations here. And I think that's that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're going to get a, a totally different feel of these maps, but you're still going to have an idea where you're at, how to get from place to place without being completely in the dark, uh, for lack of better words. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that we're in for a real treat. Also, ha, huh, flare guns coming out. And this is something I, a lot of people have figured would come with this. And sure enough, here they are. Um, the recon class is going to be the only class allowed to use these. And you're only going to have, I believe, two of them. So using them effectively and working with your commander and or uh, other squad leaders to figure out when and where to use these uh, is going to be a very important thing um, unless you're trying to you know obviously resupply uh you know the sls for for the recon class um to be just consistently popping up flares i'm not sure if they're going to be allowed to even do that though so i think you go into this assuming you're going to have two flares to work with as a squad leader in a recon unit only the squad leader is going to have that option um, so it's going to be a definitely a tactical thing to figure out how to use and that'll be interesting to see what people end up doing with that and also with update 12 for everyone playing on console and only on console this is going to be your first time not only getting remigan in night mass but this will be your first experience with eastern front content kursk and stalingrad and uh, that is something i know a lot of you guys have been very 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 much waiting for and it is almost here and i know it feels like it's been forever because it kind of has been a while but we're just about there we're right near the finish line well or the starting line how you want everyone to you want to look at it but very excited to see this stuff um just about ready to come out and the fact that the pte is coming out in pc um in the next week or two at most um is a really really good sign uh, for the you know for the eventual release date for the entire update across all platforms uh, means we're not that far away so thank you guys for stopping back to the channel i do appreciate the hell out of it i hope you guys have a great week and we will see you later on